Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now we're back and we're on a new schedule now that school is done for right now. We're on a three day week schedule, so stay tuned and we'll be giving you episodes. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about TikTok, the new app that people are making music for because apparently you can't make music for anything else anymore. Okay, so let me explain my frustration first. So, basically what I'm frustrated about is you have artists like Drake who made Tootsie Slide. You have artists like uh, Camila Cabello who just made the new song My Oh My. And what you begin to notice is there's a trend. There's a trend here. So let's talk about that trend. What I'm noticing is that tons and tons of artists have been blowing up on TikTok, okay? If you don't know what TikTok is, it's basically a new app um, where you can make 60 uh, second or 15 second videos. Um, you can, you know, add music to it and all of it's basically non-copywritten. I don't know why. I guess TikTok owns like every song in existence. But you can basically use any song or create your own music and put it on there. So what's been happening lately is a lot of people have been creating their own music. And I think that's the good part. I don't, I don't mind people creating music and blowing up. You know, because it was the intention was not let me make this song for this app, right? Um, what I get annoyed about is when people specifically make the song for the specific intention of blowing up on TikTok, right? Because essentially they're trying to uh, dry up the well, so to speak, right? So what's been happening is, like I said, Tootsie Slide came out not too long ago, and that song was not very good at all. I mean, first of all, no one could tell if this song was about an original dance or about the moonwalk. Like, no one could really tell. That's first. Second of all, you have people like Camila Cabello, who, like I said, just came out with a new song called My Oh My, and, and on YouTube, it is specifically a dance video. Now, I do understand that a lot of this is because the quarantine and a lot of things are not happening right now because you can't go outside and I understand but what I do get annoyed with is when people like the two people I just mentioned are making songs specifically for the TikTok app the reason why I don't like it is because you can listen to the lyrics and you can kind of tell that no one put any real work in writing that song in my opinion it just sounds very and it might be on purpose, that's not the point. But the, the song just sounds very like, ugh, whatever, okay, you know, here, put left, right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Either way we gonna slide. Like, it, it just, it really frustrates me, that's all. And I think what I am afraid of the most, or what I am most upset about, is that this is gonna become a trend eventually. So, now that Drake did it, I'm not even sure if the song is more successful now that Drake did it, or what. But now that Drake did it, it's going to be an issue of how many more people are going to make a song like this? How many more people are going to try to do this same formula? Make a song, make a dance, post it, right? One thing I like about Drake before TikTok and before all this was that when he made a song, the dance kind of just came naturally, right? So, you know, for example, I, what was it? God's Plan or or it was some song. Um, Kiki, do you love me? Are we riding? You never wanted to be. That song. You had somebody who made a dance and that person went viral, right? Like, that's kind of how it went. But nowadays, you kind of take the element of the individual creator, um, on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, you take the power away from them from creating a dance to your song or creating something cool. For example, you had a girl on TikTok who created a dance for um, for Meg Thee Stallion's song, Savage, right? So Savage was a song in and of itself. I don't believe there was any intention for them to create a dance to it or anything. So what happened was there was a girl, and I'll post her name right here because I don't remember it. I want to give her proper credit. There was a girl that actually created a very well thought out, well choreographed dance and she posted it on her TikTok and it didn't blow up immediately. So, you know, she decided, let me do it again. So she posted again and again and again and throughout the weeks, eventually, the dance caught on. And it even caught the attention of Meg Thee Stallion and most recently, Beyonce. Beyonce. Beyonce, right? So what did the, the point I'm making is, when you make a song as a musician or as an artist, you give that song to the public and you allow the public to do the work of creating a viral dance, of 
you know, naturally letting the song flow through people's minds and creative juices so they can make something to your song, right? So that's kind of what I expect from artists and it's not really a hard stop, set in stone kind of thing, but that's kind of what I like because you, you give people like me or somebody over there or somebody over there the chance to create something to your music and you're giving them a chance to go big as well, right? So what I don't like is when people like Drake and Camila Cabello kind of cut that middleman out. They cut the, you know, app creator, they cut the small time creator out of the picture, out of the equation, and they kind of just skip the whole thing, right? So the step that they end up going to is, okay, let me not only create the song, but let me curate people to make the dance and we're gonna make it and, and that's it. Tootsie Slide was kind of the same thing. You know, Drake in the song tells you what to do. He tells you how to move. There's no real creativity. There's no real, you know, ability to kind of move outside of that because it's in the lyrics. That's it. Like, if you go like this and he said, move this arm this way and you're this arm that way, you're not doing anything except what the song is telling you. Now we're back in the days of uh, one hop this time, right foot, let's stomp, right? It's not a question of whether or not the song is good, it's a question of whether or not you're able to take it and make something new out of it, right? And that's what I think is upsetting me, is that now that we're creating, artists are creating songs specifically for TikTok, specifically for dancing, you're cutting out the middleman, you're cutting out the people that can create something really cool and really inventive out of your song, and that's the part I don't like. Um, uh, I think that it's gonna continue, so I stated the problem, let me state the solution, right? I think it's gonna continue, but what I would like is if, and I think Camila Cabello did this well, actually. She actually kind of got several creators from TikTok and from, you know, several apps, and she had them dance to it. You know, they are more popular than the regular creator. They are, you know, bigger and they have more followers. But I got the idea. I did like the way that she sent it out to people and specific dancers on the app and she let them, you know, do it. Now, whether or not the dance was already curated and she just let them know what the steps were, I don't know. But it's way better than what happened with Tuesday Slide. Tuesday Slide, the man was just like right foot up, left foot side. I mean, it's too, it's bland. It's just, it's zeroed out. It's bland. It's just not cool. So anyway, at the end of this, I just really wish that if more artists do make songs for TikTok, that they are mindful about the creative aspect of what the app is, what the app is about. I'm going to make a video about TikTok and, and kind of the entirety of what it's all about and why I think you should download it and why it's kind of a cool app. I think I'll make a separate video to that. But if artists are going to make music videos and songs specifically for TikTok, specifically for dancing. I hope they don't do what Drake did and they cut out the middleman, they cut out the little creators and they cut out the creativity that you can have with the song and the dance, right? Let the creator create the dance. Let the creator do the moves and all that. Let the creator do it because you don't want to take that from the people who are listening to your song. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, once again, three days a week on this channel, Song Theory. I, there's no way I can do every day. It's not happening. I got a lot going on, but I am gonna be trying to post three days a week on here. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also understand that we do sell t-shirts now. If you go to the description below, we are selling Song Theory t-shirts. They're wonderful. I try to wear them as often as possible so you guys can see it. Um, but make sure you look at that. And also, I also do have a TikTok. If you wanna go see it, I do music and comedy and stuff. So I'll put the TikTok here on the screen and in the description below. So enjoy that and I hope that you all just you know, enjoy it. Once again, I love these artists. I just hope that they use the app wisely and they don't try to overstep it and, and take out the little man, but instead they really think harder about how are we going to make this pop without, you know, disrespecting the people who already exist, uh, exist on the app. So anyway, thank you everybody who came this far in the video. I hope you subscribe, like, and share. Make sure you check out my TikTok and also buy a t-shirt if that interests you. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a great day, a better tomorrow. God bless, stay safe, keep on a mask. I'll see you all later.